vast, ominous, mythical. The Bermuda Triangle, also known as the Devil's Triangle, one of the greatest mysteries of our time. Flight records, their plane left Puerto Rico at 11.08 a.m. Monday. Destination, Titusville, Florida. But two hours, 22 minutes into the flight, at an altitude of 24,000 feet, the plane disappeared from radar. It's no secret that the infamous Bermuda Triangle is one of the world's greatest mysteries. For those of you guys who want to avoid the triangle at all costs, it's located in the Atlantic Ocean between Bermuda, Puerto Rico, and Florida. So it makes like a triangle, so try not to fly over it because you might disappear. More ships and planes have disappeared here than anywhere else in the world, and that's why the Bermuda Triangle is also known as the Devil's Triangle. Because of these strange disappearances, people have linked the Bermuda Triangle to paranormal activities or aliens. Aliens, but most investigators blame all of the disappearances on bad weather and human error. I don't know about that one. So which one is truly at fault here? Well, let's explore some of the most notable disappearances. How's it going YouTube? I'm your host for this one, Landon. Do not want to get lost. And welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video. Also, I have a huge announcement for you guys. We've just announced that we are having a baby. We're having a baby girl. And I just want to say thank you for everyone who headed over to my Instagram at Landon Productions and said, Thank you. I just wanted to personally say thank you to every single person that's congratulated us. This year has been a really big year for us, and our baby is going to be born in 2020, the same year Kanye West is going to be pres. I'm super excited about it, and in a future video, I'll tell you if it's a boy or a girl because we already know. Or if you guys want to head over to my Instagram at Landon Productions, you guys can find out right now. All right, let's get right into this video. Let's get right to business. Let's get right into the disappearances. This is the top 10 scary times airplanes went missing in the Bermuda Triangle. Douglas DC-3 scary disappearance brings us to number 10. It is said that the DC-3 is one of the most reliable aircrafts to have ever been designed and built. You will see a lot of these airplanes flying in Florida, the Caribbean, and the Bahamas because its main job is for island hopping. But on December 20th, 1948, a DC-3 aircraft took off from San Juan Airport and was headed to Miami. It was only 50 miles from the south of Florida, but the plane was never seen or heard from again. It disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle with 28 passengers and three crew members on board. This was the first time that a DC-3 aircraft disappeared, but many others have disappeared since, and they all went missing just 50 miles from the Florida Keys. And you know what? I wouldn't call that a coincidence. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I'll be booking a flight that even has the smallest chance of flying over the Bermuda Triangle. Every time I book a flight, I'm gonna pick up the phone and be like, yo, do you fly over the Bermuda? And if they say yes, I'm gonna be like, bam, hang it up, flight is canceled. I mean, it's 2019, people. Can we come up with an alternate flight path? Clearly something is going on. Obviously, the Bermuda Triangle is one of life's greatest mysteries, and I don't think we should be going anywhere near it. You know what? Unless your life goal is to disappear without a trace, then go for it. <laughs> or if it's on your bucket list to be the one that disappeared in the Bermuda Triangle, then go for it. Flight 441 comes flying in on this list at number 9. This aircraft took off with 42 passengers on board as they made their way from the Nas Pax River Naval Station in Legis and is located in the Azores Islands. I have no idea where that is, I had to search on a map, never heard of it. Well, all contact with the plane was lost when they were about 400 miles from the coast. Flight 441 never arrived at its destination and it disappeared without a trace. Because of this, the disappearance of Flight 441 was one of the most investigated incidents of all time. They looked into the weather conditions that day and the pilot's abilities. The weather was pretty typical that day. There wasn't any icing, but there was scattered thunderstorms and minor turbulence. The plane was equipped with more than enough flotation devices that should have survived, but again, nothing was ever found. Next up, number eight, we have a very unusual disappearance. Let's travel back to November 3rd, 1978, when a pilot left St. Croix and was headed towards St. Thomas to pick up passengers. This experienced pilot went on this flight by himself and he has done it, you know, a bunch of times. No big deal. Apparently, the visibility was good and temperatures were nice and warm. 
Some would say that he had the perfect flying conditions, but during the flight the control tower advised him that he was headed for a small shower, so he should alter his route a bit. He made the adjustments needed and as he was getting close to the St. Thomas airport, the plane was cleared for landing and the control tower saw the red and green lights blinking from the plane, but soon after another plane took off and the controller couldn't see the lights from the original plane, it had disappeared from the radar and an emergency search effort was put into place but nothing was ever found. And keep in mind that this plane was literally only one mile from landing. I mean this is absolutely horrifying and where did it go? The disappearance of a small plane takes us to number 7. According to flight records, their plane left Puerto Rico at 11.08 a.m. Monday. Destination, Titusville, Florida. But two hours, 22 minutes into the flight, at an altitude of 24,000 feet, the plane disappeared from radar. The search falls in the air. This is probably one of the most recent cases of a plane disappearance from the Bermuda Triangle. I mean, we're talking about 2017. So in May of that year, this flight was carrying two adults and two children, and it was scheduled to fly from Puerto Rico to Central Florida, but it never arrived. Miami Air Traffic Control lost radar and radio contact with the airplane just three hours into the flight. Rescue crews searched more than 8,200 square miles in over 30 hours, but the plane just seemed to vanish out of thin air. All four of them most likely lost their lives, but because of this mysterious disappearance, so many people are coming up with their own theories about what really happened. And you know what? Let me know what your guys' theories are. What is going on in the Bermuda Triangle? Let me know in the comment section below. And for all of you guys who are commenting down there, congratulations, Land. <clears throat> I just want to say thank you guys so much again for all the congratulations. I'm super, super excited. But let's get back into this. Some of the theories suggest that, you know, aliens are controlling the Bermuda Triangle and they cause ships and planes to crash. While others believe that there's a utopian society located in the Bermuda Triangle and people who find it never want to leave. Star Tiger comes flying in onto this list at number 6. Back on January 30th, 1948, a plane was scheduled to fly from England to Bermuda but it suddenly vanished without a trace. They were supposed to arrive by 5 a.m. the following day, but the pilot and 31 other people on the plane were never heard from again. In the official report, investors claimed that the heater on the plane was unreliable and it might have failed en route. So in order to keep the temperatures inside of the cabin warm, the pilot might have chosen to fly at a lower altitude, which would have burned his fuel a lot faster. And if he was flying low, that wouldn't have given him a lot of time to react if he had run into some trouble. It's been 71 years since the plane disappeared and it still remains a mystery today. Star Aerial comes in onto this list at number 5. This aircraft is very similar to the Star Tiger. It left from Bermuda on January 17, 1949. With 7 crew members and 13 passengers, it was en route to Jamaica, but no one ever predicted that they would become another casualty of the Bermuda Triangle. Apparently the pilot reported that their flight was going smoothly, but shortly afterwards the captain said that he was changing his frequency and he was never heard from again. A search and rescue team was sent out to look for them, but nothing was ever found. After this aircraft disappeared, British South American Airlines stopped the production of the Tudor 4 planes because they clearly have a bad track record of mysteriously disappearing over the Bermuda Triangle. Here's a crazy idea, instead of stopping the manufacturing of these planes, how about you don't fly into a place that is eating them? I think that would be a safer bet, just fly around the damn thing. Number 4, we have the mysterious disappearance of the Trislander. A small three-engine aircraft was set to deport from San Diego to New York on December 15, 2008, and it was carrying 12 passengers on board. But the unthinkable happened. Just 35 minutes after the plane took off, it disappeared from all the radars and no one was able to track its location. The US Coast Guard initiated a massive search and rescue mission, but the plane was never found. There wasn't even a trace on the plane or even a small piece of a wreckage. Its last known location was 4 miles west of West Caicos Island. But sadly, we will never know what happened to those 12 people on board, and their disappearance will remain a mystery forever. Maybe aliens had something to do with it. 
Maybe everyone in the Bermuda Triangle, all the people were taken into Area 51. So maybe on September 20th, we might find all these missing people. Moving on to number three, C-54 Skymaster. The C-54 took off from Bermuda on July 3rd, 1947, and it was intercepted by a massive thunderstorm. A lot of investigators and researchers blame the thunderstorm for the plane's disappearances, but there is a lot more to the story. The real question is, why did this plane head straight for the eye of the storm, when it could have easily avoided it? The C-54 was a military aircraft that was capable of carrying 85 passengers. On the day of the flight, there were five crew members and a very skilled pilot. So after it took off from Bermuda, the plane started to go off course, but the pilot and the navigator on board weren't aware of this. As a result, it was headed straight for the storm. It headed in this direction for a long time until the ground radio operator heard a chilling SOS distress call, but for some reason they ignored it. Some debris was found, but they quickly blamed the storm for crashing the plane. I don't know. It kind of sounds a little bit fishy to me. I mean, what's really going on? On here is there a massive cover-up we you know at the end of the day we're, we're probably never gonna find out is the government behind the Bermuda Triangle uh, there's a lot of theories behind it all flight 201 makes an appearance or a disappearance in at number two the aircraft left Fort Lauderdale on March 31st 1984 and it was supposed to land on by Island in the Bahamas but it never made it despite the heavily experienced crew and pilot Something terrible went wrong. Halfway into the flight, the plane slowed down significantly, but no radio signals were sent and no distress calls were ever made. Suddenly the plane crashed into the water and it completely vanished off the radar. This seems to be the trend with all of them. But interestingly enough, a woman on Bohemia Island reported seeing a plane crash into the water about a mile from the shore, but no wreckage was ever found. How is that even possible? There wasn't even the smallest trace of the plane left behind. I mean, is this real life right now? That just gives me the creeps. And finally, topping our list at number one, we have the disappearance of Flight 19. On December 5th of 1945, five US Navy bombers took off from Fort Lauderdale for a routine training exercise, but they had no idea that that would be their last training exercise ever. They didn't make it back alive. The first leg of the exercise went according to plan, but shortly afterwards, something strange started to happen. The only experienced pilot on the plane, he radioed back to the base saying that both of his compasses aren't working, and he was trying to find Fort Lauderdale. He was sure that he was in the Florida Keys, but he didn't know how far down he was. I mean, take a look at this picture. The yellow part is the flight path that they should have taken. The purple path is where the pilot thought he was, and the red shows you where they actually flew. They are nowhere near each other. They believe that the pilot became extremely disoriented, and one of the trainees said, if we just fly west, we should get home. As it turns out, he was right. But because the experienced pilot was stubborn, they became another victim of the infamous Bermuda Triangle. Oh, and the rescue plane that went to go find them, it also disappeared just 20 minutes after takeoff. Well, there you guys have it. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video.